Genesis heat set artist soils are odour free and non toxic. Genesis stays wet until you want it to dry, so you can walk away from your palette and brushes without cleaning up, and when you come back tomorrow, next week, next month, or even next year, everything is as you left it. The paint is still wet on your palette, brushes, and canvas, so just pick up your brush and carry straight on. On the other hand, when you want Genesis to dry, you can dry part or all of the canvas within a couple of minutes with an ordinary heat gun. So you can work wet on wet, apply multiple glazes, and achieve in hours what would have taken months with traditional oils. Genesis offers fine control over mixing, blending, and application. The Genesis range of 87 colours are rich in pigment, with colours that closely match those of nature. Genesis has strong archival properties, with 75 colours rated as Category 1 for light fastness, and there is no colour shift between the wet and the dry state. Genesis is flexible and won't crack with time. The paint comes in clear screw top tubs, so you can clearly see the colour and get every last scrap of paint out. And because it will never dry, there is no wastage. Say goodbye to your mangled dried out tubes of paint and solid gummed up paint brushes. With its thinning and thick medium, variety of varnishes, and vibrant range of colours, Genesis offers the complete system for every style of artist, from thin washers to impasto. There are lots of good things about Genesis, but there's two important points that it all comes down to. Firstly is the sheer convenience of just being able to paint for a few minutes and then when something comes along to disturb you, like the phones goes or the kids come in, you can just leave everything as it is and then you can come back however long later and just pick everything up and carry straight on from where you left off. Behind me here is a painting I did a year ago with Robin Cooper in one of her workshops and I still have the palette from that class. And uh, the paint is still wet and pliable and ready to go on that palette. So should I decide to try and improve this picture, which it probably could do with, um, I still have the paint mixed on my palette and ready to go all that time later. And the second point, and this really is the most important point of all, is that art is all about getting your creative vision out onto that canvas, getting that inner vision of what you want onto the canvas. And one of my customers actually put it best to me. She said, in the past, I've always felt that the medium has got in the way. Either it dries too quickly or too slowly, or it doesn't blend well, or there's a color shift between the wet and the dry state. But with Genesis, those obstacles are removed. I feel I can actually get on with the act of painting without the medium getting in the way. And all that frustration is gone, and painting becomes fun again, as it should be. So if you're, when you're choosing your medium, think carefully and choose one that's not going to put obstacles in your path. Choose Genesis. Now coming up, we have a, a little short introduction to some of the packs that can help you get started with Genesis. After that, we have some great little short demonstrations that are really good. And then following that, we have some superb work by Genesis artists in our gallery. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you. The blending technique, and that's what I normally do when I'm achieving all my paintings out in the gallery. I've actually got some thinning medium here. I'm actually blending it down on the palette. You've got your dark medium, you've got your highlight, and you've got your semi-dark medium. I'm actually blending it onto the edge of this petal. Then I go to my next colour, which is the medium colour, and add some of the dark medium to it. Apply that. And all I'm doing here is pat blending with a mop brush. Working between the two colours to get them to blend. There are two ways of checking to see if your painting is dry. You can actually touch dry to see if it's dry and you'll know because you'll get the paint off onto your skin. Or the other way is you can just run some paper towel through the actual um, petal and you'll know because there's no paint on your paper towel. I've always had a passion for painting and uh, until recently I was using oils before that watercolours. But I've had a lot of difficulty with oils, as is for anybody that knows oils. Um, you have to wait for the section to dry, 
to go on to the next section, which could take days. But with Genesis, it's so simple. In this particular painting here, which is of Fort Douglas, I've been doing some of the masks by freehand, small ones, but for the bigger masks, you can use masking tape, which is a low adhesive masking tape. All you have to do, you just rip a couple of pieces off. I'm going to put a mask. Apply it to the canvas. Like so. Paintbrush, a bit of white. Paint between the gaps. Gently just take the tape off. There you have it. You're ready for the next section. I'm going to demonstrate how to apply a glaze over one of these leaves. I'm actually going to use Genesis Yellow and turn it into a warm leaf. To achieve this method, I'm actually going to use some of the thinning medium and some of the glazing medium. So I've got a good amount on the brush to be able to quickly move over the leaf that I've just painted. Now actually picking up a bit of the glazing and I'm going to apply it over the top of this leaf to turn it into a warm leaf. So by actually picking up a bit of the ultramarine blue, the same technique, applying it over this side of the leaf, you can actually turn the leaf into a cool leaf. If we've made a mistake, we can actually reverse it by taking some of your paper towel, applying it onto it, with this thinning and glazing medium, then you can actually just wipe that straight off and you can start again to do another glaze. The first technique I'm going to show you is the technique here which has been painted on bisque. This is a before and after, showing you what can be achieved with the Genesis paints. And I basically use a lot of glazes to get this soft stone effect. And then I've created this medallion, which is a trompe l'oeil effect in bas relief. It kind of looks like it should be carved into the stone and that's the effect that we're after. With the Genesis paints, I've taken the paint and I've mixed it with some glazing medium and also some thinning medium to get this consistency, which is a very thin sort of glaze. And what I've done here is I've mixed the paint with the glaze and I've applied areas of light and shadow in order to create that 3D effect. Now the beauty of doing it with, with Genesis is that because I'm using such thin washes, I have to apply many, many layers of paint and what I need to be able to do is to dry the paint and to move on quickly. The Genesis paint and the glazing medium allows me to do that. I'm going to demonstrate how to have an impasto effect with Genesis mediums. Genesis actually have a thick medium which is brilliant. You can get such texture to a painting. The best way to use thick medium is to apply a bit of colour into the thick medium so you know exactly what colour you've got before you start applying it, especially working with something like you can see right here where you can get that really thick texture and build up of paint. All you do is put the paint onto your palette knife and then you start working it into the areas that you want to apply it. I've actually put some thick medium on here but what I've decided is I'm going to add a bit of colour and when I teach this I normally tell people that that's what they should be doing is putting colour so they know exactly where they are 